That's fair. We'll see how things pan out here as we get very quickly into our game. It's looking fine. fine. I mean, he's actually fine. The tricky thing is, as long as they keep Gabby low, there shouldn't be any kill threat, right? Because he can't actually square up into the unstable concoction. Flames. Bring back onto Tims. He has no disrupt. Uh oh. Winding down the stun, it is a lot of physical damage. A throw down the acid spray as well. Last touch, Kiritich able to get that last tick down. But he's taking quite a bit of tower damage. Gabby doesn't have that last bash wound up. So yeah, have they have a disruption in the bot side onto Kiritich. Setting up, but he winds up a full duration stun. The shadow poison is enough. And Blacklist, they're able to connect on the kill on the alchemist. They needed that. The row is so strong at level 6. Yeah, not even Lesh can face up against it. And now Kiritich left alone in this bot side means that he's gonna get run down. FNG coming through with the kinetic field though. Kiritich can turn around the stun, oh, still has nice. the range, but beautiful disruption from Tims. Bails Gabby out, but the glimpse pulls him right back in. And what can you do? It's disrupt the gameplay, right? But uh, Tims, good try there on the Shadow Demon. Uh, they're trying to come in here for Squadix now. Nine minute mark. Looking yeah, for some sort six. of defense. Ah, Abed ready to get rolling lane. again. He has a TP. He has Static Storm. They gotta come in. Abed. The trap is set. Abed just gonna get caught by the silence. Uh oh, Squadding's dropping low as well. But looks like Abed will just completely melt. Oh, they bury him six feet under. The rest glimpse. of the Blacklist supports. They can't do much. There's a glimpse available right in the nick of time. Gets the range on it. MJZ body blocked to oblivion. And Squadix will claim a second. Nice Lotus and Stick and Fairy Fire. MJZ pulling out all the stops, but it's not gonna be enough. Lada, there's a catapult wave coming in. And an AD rune. Abed. But oh, but VP. They're so wise to it. The oh, Static nice. Storm again nice stopping Abed. The glimpse away. It's not in the right place. A nice disruption holding Abed in place. And he should be able to get the Rolling Thunder off if he wants. Now VP, they have to retreat. Being chased down now. Here comes the bowling ball, ready to knock down Kiritich. MJZ is level 6 as well. Has a swap available to crush down too much physical damage. But the whole squad of VP has shown up to the fight. Talos is here as well. You pop a Luna illusion of him. But it's not so significant in this early stage of the game. Kill off MJZ, a glimpse back onto Gabby again, but another disruption. Tims so quick with that reaction. Still trying to poke and prod at each other right now. Blacklist. They have to give up this position. It's a bit too deep between the two towers. Honestly, not much more than VP can really do. They just have to give this space up. Yeah, the bench is really shining now with the minus armor, helping the Pango do damage. And you have to swap to remove the lasso later on. Top Trying lane. to dive onto Palos. They commit the wall. There's FNG with the silence as well. But Arbet shown up to the fray, rolling forward. Notice, he's just going to get mowed down. They managed to glimpse back, but another disruption. They've killed off two. VP just have to run. Once again, they throw away the bench, but they're more than happy to give up MJZ for these call kills. They want to fight up. with the dagger and the bat. Bat wants to kidnap a hero right now. Looking for looking an option, forward. they want a core kill. But it's just MJZ again, that's gonna be painful. Oh, he got stunned! Oh, they get the stun off! And the Eclipse now, Seiyuj, this is not the bling reveal that you wanted, but a bit of a split fight now. They should be able to kill off the... No? Bat! Just runs all the way away and the Diabolic Edict trouble. doing a lot to Arbet. Static Storm as well, but the BKB pop from Gabby chasing down. Let's just get punched down by the Bashers. They get pulled back now, Kiritich doing quite a bit of damage, but once again, it's only MJZ. You put the wall down, sure, you get a fish of your own, but now Arbet's into the mix again with the Shield Crash, forcing Kiritich back out of the fight. Poking and prodding now, one last glimpse, putting oh, Gabby in a him. very awkward spot, but oh, Arbet with the Swatch finds the... Oh my goodness, Arbet. It's been all him this whole game. He's just shining on this pango and showing us why they're confident enough to pick it. Just How first off, is this guy? Glimpse of notice. He's gonna show himself now again. Ooh, they can just get this pick off and hit straight into the Roche pit. This is scary for notice. He's just gonna get crushed up and killed off. A very easy affair. And he's Blacklist, like, they gotta they stream into from? the pit. And now, Kiritich charging up his stun. Easy, easy kill. Yeah, just finds Tims looking at Abed now. Uh oh. No bench to save you now. Abed in some trouble. Still has the Aegis. It's kind of an awkward way to use it though. We'll lose the first life. The rest of Blacklist streaming in now, but with the Thunderstrike onto Gabby, he can't initiate. Good He's swap. getting focused down, but beautiful swap. MJZ again saving Gabby. He has to pop the BKB, waits until he gets fished in because he wants a 
fight. Starting to charge forward, trying to finish up NG. Will be able to kill off that disruptor and a huge rolling thunder from Arbet on his second life. Doing quite oh, a bit of work, but now. Yeah, oh, he gets lassoed mid roll. Quick catch from Seyuj. Puts a stop to that retreat from Arbet, but he's still able to blink out. Right from the jungle. It's the most important fight right now. It could be a oh, game scan. deciding fight. Scan just off the mark, so they don't really know where Blacklist are on Observe the flip side. Blacklist. Bad has a ward. They're gonna run into each other. Oh, Palos on the front lines, but they can just burst down no Sage. He dies instantaneously. No buyback now. The control on the left as well. This has become disastrous for VP. As they come, what was that? I. They just run straight into Palos, lose their bat, and now they've lost three. Palos and the gang, they can just go on to the tier two, grab a tormentor maybe, and even go onto high ground. That was a really good setup by Blacklist. Just waiting in the lane, gonna fall off a lot. He's uh. The I mean, you need armor so bad this game that Squadix even has a value. Yeah, they're trying to set up a vacuum into an alchemy stun, maybe? Oh, Back pull alchemy on stun. to Albert. But the swap again, MJZ is so quick with it. They'll come forward, punch out onto Palos. They have themselves a Luna illusion. Ages. Yeah, he has Aegis and the second life, so this isn't really going to work out for you. Gabby starting to chase down onto the Elk already. I don't think this is a fight you can win. FNG going to go down, and now the BKB going to start timing out for Kiritich. You have to buy back and try and win this fight. Kiritich dropping low, you at least get Gabby for now. Aquatics starting to do quite a bit of damage. The Luna's low as well. Still has the second life, but kills off the Elk beforehand. Kim's still there with the setup and the disruption, holding that poor Darcia in place. And now Palos, he's in the middle of a static storm. He can't do enough damage. And the Illusions, the cheese. Oh, Abe passes it to him perfectly in time. And the Luna back in fighting shape. Squadix will die. And FNG, this was the fight that was supposed to go right for you. Bertha's Pro lose everything. Oh, that was very, so very, very clutch very plays clutch. from Abed. My goodness, this guy, how good is he? There was like what one good static storm grab onto him, denying him a dive. But other than that, it's been the Abed show. And now Palos on the high ground along with Gabby, the supporting cast for Blacklist as well, doing wonders to keep their cause alive. Yeah. I mean, VP's team fight is definitely something not to be underestimated, you know, if you're Blacklist. They definitely did not expect VP to put up such a strong fight. And yeah. Lasso, Gabby. Yeah, Gabby's caught yes, again. Gabby. Tims, Tims, Tims! Always with the disruption. It might not be enough to save Gabby, but he'll put up a bit of a fight. Lash Try and down. throw out some of the punches onto Kiritich. But Squadix is already dead. Yeah, Lash is down. And Kiritich just has to run for the hills. But swap back into the frame. Blacklist, find them all! Versus Pro, they can't offer anything for their cause. They all just get ripped up by Blacklist. And oh boy, this first game looking way out of their hands now. The Luna 5, 0, and 7 has yet to even taste death this game. Yeah, it's just perfect play from Blacklist. We were a bit worried about this Slada last pick, but who knew, you know? When, when Abed's on form, the fire's lit under his butt or something. He is just playing out of his mind this game. Clearly has a mission, and that's to qualify to the group stage. Threatening up on the last lane of Rags, Mega Creeps. Could be theirs for the taking. Again, you're looking at Seiyuj, you're looking at Notice for this crazy initiation that seems to be so far away. They're gonna try for a wraparound. FNG and Notice is the tag team duo trying to get a huge static storm. They'll come in with the beautiful vacuum, but already an Aeon disc for this Tim's Shadow Demon. He still gets melted down though. Kirite oh, able to chop him up, okay? Two supports out of the picture. Now it's only the cause left. They're controlling up onto Gabby, and looks like the fish will get fried as well, but they can't kill off Palos for now. The Luna is just way too big, chops up the Alchemist, and Abed will mop up FNG while he's at it. You try a TP out, Squadix, where are you going? Absolutely nowhere. Chase down now, Palos, Skadi complete, slow to a crawl is this Lash, no Shadow Demon needed. It's a good final attempt from BP, but without buybacks, they'll call GG. Game 1 falls into the hands of Blacklist, as BP just have to tap out. That was a nice attempt, like going from behind, just initiating on, on the supports and just blowing up that yeah, strategy on the hunt for Mike. On the hunt for first blood for our bad boss. Oh yeah, serve it, to, uh, serve it up to him, he needs all the help he can get. The TAV uh, Viper matchup is not going to be too cute for him. Oh, FNG. Oh no, not the FNG first blood curse again. <laughs> no leap. No, don't walk close to FNG please. Seconds to battle. He's hiding. Does he know? I think he doesn't wait see for, anyone. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's okay. Well, FNG, uh, sayonara. What can you do? Uh, Give it uh, to Abed. Abed boss gets the free kill. Okay, very clean stuff. Yeah. Probably had that one on the back burner. Holy crap! And Abed gets a solo kill. Okay, well, 
you know, VP. If the tear is killing your viper. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is looking grim already. You need to bring heroes in here to try and salvage this situation because there's not much creativity in terms of play from the viper. Top side, the tussle. Notice dropping oh, low. The glimpse the back. Boom! MJ's the classy stuff, and Palos will get a double kill as oh a result. Are you kidding God. me? Dude, okay, this disruptor like is insane! What needs to be done. And 4 minute rune. It's gonna get the water rune, run around. Good fundamentals there. I mean, again, it's this early boot pickup. Meanwhile, top side looks like MJZ got caught out. Glimpses away onto notice will deny him from getting the last hit, but Seiyu just still able to pick it up. Meanwhile, bot side, they found FNG. It's an easy slice down. Gabby will find that kill. Even though Kiritich is a tough customer, the Enigma is an easy pickup. He has and denies them the morphing. What is going on? <laughs> I mean, Gabby is owning right now, dude. Like, the double bracer, triple branch, chainmail build. Dude, this is the this is the level of dominance we expected from maybe the Slada last game, but a beautiful glimpse back onto Notice again, catching the Pango off guard. He still has a swash, but doesn't really create a lot of distance, and he goes down. Blacklist, they're starting the meat grinder early, already six to one on the board at Palos. five minutes. He's going in again, another stun. Sayuj. He's not done. Seyuj decides to stick around, try and find some creeps, but MJZ on his heels has a thunder strike. They're not rolling anywhere on this stone. Glimpse available, they just Another need to ready. find the range. He's a little bit close. Just need to find it. Still trying to juke. Nice plays from... I mean, Tim's is coming through Rock, the team gate. <laughs> so is FNG and notice they've rejoined the fight now. Tim should be able to zap him down, but now the full squad of VP, Wait, the rest they of them have the shown three up. Was the three to the top lane? Do you get yeah, the I don't really know if that's going to work out for you. They at least kill off Tim's. And now MJZ looking to be in trouble. A whole army of Eidolons chasing you down, and MJZ should be dead. Palos still trying to get some sort of return. A glimpse back onto notice. MJZ is still alive somehow. Now it's Palos under some trouble. The Eidolons, they do a lot of damage early on, and Blacklist not really respecting that. They get punished for it. A double kill for FNG. Yeah, he's definitely the strongest. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Trying to poke MJ, away on the Sage. MJZ but... teeping in as well. At level 3 in glimpse. Yeah, pulling back onto Seiyuj and a bit too far for the Viper to respond. He'll just give up his ally. It's a nice three-man avalanche though. Seiyuj able to get out of there, but no, the lift pulls him right back in and Abed will find the last touch. Squadix really couldn't do much in that situation other than potentially contest for this eight-minute rune. It's going to be a spawn in the bot side. Squadix, oh, the AD rune. Looks like Tim's is dead. All they need is a vision around the tree line. They can try and juke, but he's a bit too slow on the Rubik. TP in now. On the Centaur as well, they commit the Stampede, they have to TP out on Arbet. The stun up, but Squad is getting a double kill. Uh-oh, this is where the Viper looks so, so strong. And he might go down here to Gabby, one last double edge, but a triple kill. Huge comeback for Squadix in the mid lane. He's still level 5, he was level 5 he at is, minute, yeah. minute 8, I think, 7 and half 8. Now he's yeah, he's been hiding away, but the setup now onto Squadix. If they can full focus down this Viper, that'll be he huge. The XP. He at least oh, gets he got one. The XP. Let's go, MJZ. Yeah, spotting out Squadix, and you gotta imagine that, you know, the MJZ is like, Oh, you know, we can trap him in the tree line. Bot side though, went live. There's a black hole instantly cancelled by, cancel by the Static Storm and stolen. Uh-oh, now you need to kill this Rubik off. If not, Tim's is gonna be a major problem. Notice, still managing to roll through and buy the space for them to kill off Gabby. With a glimpse back, notice nowhere to run. Lifted back up, but the rest of VP threatening aggressive plays here. Teams can't find an opening to use it for now. Still try and run forward with Squadix joining their ranks. Kiritich on the front lines, they're feeling strong. MJZ just being swashed down. So much damage on this Pango now with the Diffuser complete. This time around, it's really translating into a very slow game from him on this Centaur. It's not really able to stand his ground against this Morphling. Black hole. Black hole being used. It's not enough magic. Burst narrowly with the stun, they'll find it. They don't, I don't They're think they know, sandwich. I think they just guessed wrong and now FNG is going to try and bait them out but they smell something's missing. But it's not enough for Gabby to get out, the TP cancelled now, Seyuj. With that avalanche, can they get the chase out? Kiritich waveforming forward, they need to find this big stocky horse in the tree line. He doesn't have a TP, they just need to hunt him down. Ooh, just nearly missing but... Oh, they get the toss, Seyuj finds Gabby and they'll wave him goodbye alright. That is the pickoff that could open up the Roche for themselves. They haven't been deterred oh, they won't by know, They the won't know he's state. on the side. Oh, yikes. Okay, no. No. Well, they kill him off. 
But uh, it's not the again, one. It's not absolutely the not. No, it doesn't really net them anything. It's forty seconds without your tiny, but well, it's really an objective it to get. Well, at least it kind of delays the Aegis timer. I, I tiny, guess with yeah. tiny down VP is like uh, they're not gonna try to be aggressive on the map, but. It's still something. FNG has dagger. Oh, notice is a way bigger kill. Stomp up now. And the melt damage. Oh, that last bit of an auto attack. The roll up wasn't enough. Oh, damn. Like Palos, they see him. Oh, no. Uh oh. He's gonna get caught. Black hole is here. Close. Can't TP. He's gonna try, but yeah. Just an easy grab. FNG, that's the blink reveal that he wanted. Stampy coming forward. He's making quite a good bit of distance. Can't run away. Black Hole is available. BKB from the Enigma not ready just yet. So we Gem need to keep our eyes up for that. Is the front double stun. Around. There's the double stun into FNG and no Black Hole. He has the buyback to rejoin the fight. They've already killed off Notice. Oh, this is looking terrible for VP. They need to try and rejoin this situation and bail their carries out of your Kiritich. Morphed up into Arbet though. Has the refraction working Arbet. and is laying into the TA. Arbet, he's dropping low and he doesn't have the damage. He can't finish up spotting in time. The glimpse back, but the Viper looks A-OK. -okay. Palos will punch him down finally. The mass buybacks come out, but Palos just has to escape. Kiritich, the big winner of that situation. They use way too many resources on everyone other than Morphling. Morten smoke play of the game. They're gonna try. Again, from the same angle? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Ward. They need a high ground ward. Rubik has ops. Disruptor has ops. They need a party down. Jump out again. This time it's onto notice. They burst oh, down the back. pango and he doesn't have a buyback. Palos, mopping up onto Seiyuj. This is actually pretty big for Bertha's Pro. They pull back Kiritich, force the BKB out, but the Mopling able to waveform to safety. TP out. It looks like this Roche area How is gonna the be... How same move work twice in a I row? Don't, I have no idea. I'll be honest with you, but the vision advantage in this area very clearly in Blacklist's favor. You keep talking about this thunder strike and the traps. It's just so hard to maneuver. Yeah, but they gotta be more prepared. You're gonna be run down by Scully. Notice oh. still in the cover of smoke. It's gonna be revealed now. Get catch onto Palos. Start things out, but that's not the target that they want. They're looking for the backline. Oh, Find onto Arbet. Uh oh, TA down. Easy kill Stampede comes out a bit too late. Gabby pops it to try and save himself there. They wanna go. FNG says, bring it on. I have the smoke. My solitary yeah, but so disguise. so do Blacklist. I, they're perched up around here. FNG might be on the front lines breaking it. He's in the tree line now. Uh -oh. Still dodging away. Uh -oh. This is scary now. Blacklist, they're on the cusp of finding oh, this morphling. He's Jump in the hex. Kiritich, he's found. He gets that. He's stopped up. You need a black hole and you find it. FNG delivers. But is it going to be enough? Kiritich, not enough damage done to him. But he's still silenced for days after days. As a buyback, might have to use it to come back into this fight. They have already killed off the alchemist. And now Arbet in trouble. Squanix is the carry now. And Virtus Pro, no morphling, no problem. FNG coming up big for the team. And still furthering the chase down, you need to buy back on the center, but realistically, what are you buying back for? MJZ is trying to hide in the trees, but Midnight Pulse says no. And Virtus Pro wipe out three. Gabby if you count Gabby's buy back, oh, he's sticking around. What is he trying to do? Kill off FNG? That's not possible. He's gonna You're going to pay the price for that. You kill FNG, but now the Stampede again just to retreat. But the Yule stops him in his tracks. Seiyu just there with the toss back on to notice. It's a thick, thick horse they need to work through, but Squadix, not a lot of mana to work with, but so many poison attacks. Holding him down, no TP, no options. We'll just kill him off. You know what? Blacklist. Right? I, I felt like he intentionally showed himself on the mag and agility morph and to bait the Centaur into stun him so that they got a back hook. He, he has gotten there on the Enigma. I'm He's not gonna lie to now. you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. It feels like there are so many problems. Palos winding up the stun. Double stun? One. Angle gets a double stun. It's huge. MGG with the static storm. Holding on to the tiny and the pango. But on the oh, sideline, they found FNG. They got him. There's no black hole anymore. And Kiritich goes down on the first life, waiting for the respawn. Arbet swooping in, trying to clean up. Notice taking those last few auto tanks. It's not enough. Kiritich trying to do what he can along with Squadix to salvage this fight for Virtus Pro. They've already lost three. But now the mobbing on the front line. Silence up. Eaten up alive. The Bloodthorn says no. And it's a reverse, just team wipe. Blacklist, undeterred, just instant, no hesitation. From Palos jumping forward and gives his team the vision to work with MJZ following up with a killer static storm. What a fight.
with the Wind Waker, he's fine. They're TPing back in, they've brought back on the disruptor and they want to fight. Notice in some trouble, silenced up and lifted and controlled, he is dead. Say you just walked down my palo, so trading out evenly. Blacklist, they still maintain an advantage on this high ground. But it is slipping away. Again, Gabby gets a touch out onto the Enigma, the Static Storm on his head, and he is gone. He has a buyback. Might want to sync it up with the Tiny. That's a Stampede use and the Static Storm. You don't have that anymore. VP, they're not Oops. down and out just yet. Creeps are going to be soon in their base. Yeah, hanging on by a sliver, but so many problems to deal with now. Nice dodge on Abed. Blinking away from that Viper Strike. Valanche starting things out. Starting an auto attack out onto Palos, but he has that Berserker's potion. It's Squadix. He's trying to be that tier 4 tower in place of the objectives that he's lost, but again, Blacklist, they're playing so conservative. Finally, a buyback on the Enigma, but you're already losing Kiritish. It's too late. Oh, here comes the Black Hole on the tomb, but where's the follow up damage? It's not enough. FNG just gets sliced apart. Too little, too late for Virus Pro. The dream in front of their eyes. They clawed it back, but maybe it's not over just yet. Squadix able to punch through Palos, and Gabby's still coming back in with another Hex. The Aeon Disc will bail note this style for now. You buy back on the Alchemist, you're trying to rejoin and put an end to this game. They can smell it, they can feel it. Their ticket straight to the group stage. Abed has to run with that Stampede. The control onto Squadix, the Static Storm is back. Silencing up onto the Viper. Nowhere to run and no save for him. He might be tanky, but not tanky enough. And you even steal that black hole. GG is called Blacklist. They'll be able to 2 0 Butters Pro a hard fought series in that game number two. Not quite as happy, but they'll be pleased. They move on to the next stage of the competition, but heartbreak for Virtus Pro.